Good morning, Saturday, ninjas. What is up? What's going on, everyone? This is my little mock-up uh, packaging right now, but let me get logged on so I can help with questions. And we're going to have some fun this morning, something new, something kind of fabulous. And I hope you guys enjoy it. How come I can never get to my silly little page? Hold, please. Hold, please. Have a peek at that while I try to find the link that will let me see my stupid page. Come on now. Even it should give me... There. I get my own notification. Okay. Thanking you. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Oh, turn that volume off. We can't have double sound. And sorry, no tunes today. No sweet 80s mix today. Because I'm going to be posting uh, the recorded version of this on probably YouTube and wherever else on the site. Stuff like that. On, on even on our uh, Teachable site. <clears throat> okay, so good morning everybody. I'm going to give like, I don't know, five minutes. Let most people log on. Um, and hopefully enjoy what's about to happen. So, hey, everybody. Hey, Corey. Hey, Toy. Good to see you guys. Good morning. Good afternoon. Maybe we'll do some blue today. I think we will. I like the little blue one. It's much smaller than the gigantic one, but hey. Awesome. Awesome, everybody. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. And again, this is my mock-up. Just a mock-up. Oh, what's up, Mel in the UK? Good to see you. 7 p.m. A Saturday night class. Yeah. Okay, so let me just get this going. What's everybody doing today? Enjoying your Saturday? Before I start? Before I start, I'm so excited. I just wanted to, like, open it up and get going. But again, this is a mock-up. The paper may or may not look this way when you get it, but um, so let's go ahead and begin. Let me check my layout and my resolution. Pfft, resolution looks good, um, and the height and everything looks good. So, um, I guess we should intro. Um, if you guys are just now joining um, on this page, thank you for coming on to the Crystal Ninja Facebook page. Um, we've been in business uh, over, I don't know, 16 years now. And uh, for years and years, we've been asked to glue on um, rubber and silicone. All kind of things. And there's so many kinds of rubber. There's so many kinds of silicone. There's so many kinds. So... This still may not be the end all to your problems, but if anyone knows us and has been to any of our classes or our warehouse or in our studio, um, sometimes you may have even seen uh, our testing room. Like we have a whole room full of things we test on, things we tear up, we, we stress them, we strain them, we yank and pull and... We do some pretty messed up stuff for testing, all for testing. And if it doesn't pass, it doesn't pass, y'all. Um, so that's why you have not seen very much of us doing stuff like this. Um, we do have a few clients that we have done this before, and um, they were also a test. So we can sometimes even design a special rate um, for people, and they know that we do or don't have faith in the process and they're like oh i don't care i want them for one day don't care they're still gonna pay eight hundred dollars for a pair of, of this with no guarantee and that happens too so luckily it's been fine but uh, now we are extremely confident in this process and if you guys have seen the little sneak peek video of me trying to pull one off um it's pretty fabulous so um and then in your kit um you know, I'll go over what's in the kit, but I'm not I'm not releasing uh, the names of products in the kit. So that's the bonus of purchasing the kit and um, watching the video and supporting 
uh, the Crystal Ninja team and because we have worked many years um, to find the right combination of these items that work on this situation. <clears throat> Pardon me. And um, so with that, are there, hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning, good morning. And I see some orders coming through. Uh, so it's, it is six minutes after. So I guess we can get started. Um, so these are foam rubber, okay? Crocs are foam rubber. Um, and they're squishy and mushy, and um, they seem to still be worn all over the world. Um, so it's definitely something that people are after. Um, this is something you can definitely add to your customer base <clears throat> or for family and friends, like the holidays are coming and how fun would it be to have, you know, some, you know, little brown Thanksgiving ones and some holidays, some Christmas ones, get some red with the green and all the stuff, like get crazy, go have fun. Um, I've seen these at weddings, so colors are, you know, unlimited and that can be fun too you can make them nice and pretty <clears throat> pardon me even though these are going to um a gentleman i think he's gonna love them and this was kind of a, a surprise but i don't think he follows us so um if you guys watched uh maybe two weeks ago i did a large tumbler for a gentleman uh named mr hamilton and since um i wanted to add a surprise for him I went ahead and knocked out a pair for him. So, um, this is with just the bikini mix. And I added a pack, a pinch, a couple of pinches of uh, the pink purple of the 12s and 20s. That's all this is. So, I had the bikini mix, pink purple, a couple packs, that's it. And there was plenty left over um, to do two pairs. And so, that's just a little, you know, design um, it's all, and then you can even tell, um, the spacing is a huge thing. So I'm going to show you guys a process. You're going to need to use both of your hands today and it does take some practice. Um, but I think you're going to enjoy it. So I guess we can with, with that, I guess we can get started. I don't have any other alerts, um, that are popping in from the boss. So I think I'm good to go. And what else? What else? What else? I know I'm gonna forget to tell y'all something. But so today I'm going to use um, our Ocean Blue Mix. It is um, a mix of Swarovski and Kira Kira glass, and it's wonderful. And then I'm gonna put in a pinch of our Mix AB, the Kira Kira Mix AB, just to have a few more AB pops. You know, um, Jewel. That's a great question. Um, is this something a beginner can do? Certainly. But the way that I'm going to show you, it has taken me some practice to get there. And, and that's in most of all of our, pro our processes. Practice does make perfect. Um, so, you know, start small. Maybe not with this kit. Maybe uh, get the complete starter kit with that has the basic um, fusion tack in it. And do like a lipstick and things like that. Uh, Tiffany, we are showing you what glue we're going to be, or what process. I'm not showing you what the glue is. But once you buy the kit, then you get the glue. You get all the information once you buy the kit. <clears throat> Pardon me. Goodness, what is getting me today? So, let's open up the kit. Let's get this going. Yeah, it's 10 after. I think everyone has popped in. That's gonna... And good morning to over 250 of you guys. Thank you so much. This is fantastic. This is a great, a great day. Okay, so in your kit, what you will receive... And I already added some other things on the website to suggest that you might look into getting because, um, you know, the kit is good to start. But you, if you do more of this, you're going to want better tool, better um, options of other tools. So in the kit, you're going to get one of our little prep kits. And what that is, is just a little uh, two-sided nail file and then two swabs of alcohol. Um, that's just going to get you started. You can definitely get larger alcohol wipes, which is what I'm going to be using today because I don't want to keep going through all these tiny little um, alcohol pads. Um, so you're going to get our little prep kit. And then, what else? What else is in here? Oh, thank you, Todd. Thank you so, so much. And yes, everyone else, if you've got some friends and family that love these kind of shoes and want to pimp them out, bling them out, then uh, please give a share. Give a share. Come on, fingers. Okay. Then we're going to give you guys whoopsies, whoopsies, a little tray and 
um, a little glue stick. You can certainly put this glue in a syringe, um, but I find that for this process, to even have to work a device with this hand, just using, I'm keeping it basic, but you can totally put it in a syringe if you can work your syringe with your left hand and that's or your opposite hand, that's totally fine. All right, I have covered the labels, um, but when you get your kit, the labels will not be covered. You'll have access to the name. You'll have access to the uh, looking up the SDS sheets. Uh, this process is California compliant, low VOC. I have a fan running. I am going to wear gloves. Um, I want you guys to be wise in your decisions. We have tons of non-toxic glues that we love, uh, but none of them will adhere to foam rubber the way that I need to. So sometimes we have to use things that are not non-toxic. Um, so let's just be smart, read the instructions, read the warnings, um, but for it to be California compliant, that's pretty cool because you know how we are over here in California. Um, and so what's not included in the kit, so this is what's in your kit. You have your prep kit, your two pieces, your little stick here, a tray to put the glue in, and that's your kit. What's not included in the kit that you're going to be seeing me use today is some nail nippers, some nice sharp nail nippers. Be very careful. I have these uh, links also on the in the product description of this kit because if you misplace um, a stone, you can't just pull that off. You're going to rip your fingernail. You want to cut these off. So we have a link to some nippers. We have a link to a little tiny battery powered fan and that's actually across my office. It's just keeping... Um, Things moving, to keeping your air in your room moving. Always have a nice open ventilated area. It's not a huge smell, um, but there are vapors, not particles. So you have to understand the difference between uh, wearing a, a vapor mask and a particle mask. So you can definitely do that too, but I have enough wind in here that it's not a problem. And I've read all my warnings. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to wear gloves just so that if someone's a, kind of a new, a, a newbie that's watching this, um, wearing gloves prevents any fingerprints and oils getting on your items, which we're about to try to remove those oils and then having it, having no gloves is just putting more oil back on your stuff. So you can get into a habit of wearing, uh, gloves and... Let's see. I guess we're going to get started. Let's do this. Let's do this. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Todd. Thank you for putting in my little description there. Super. All right. Let's get these bad boys on. And um, we're going to get... Oh, how about if I put it on the right way? Put it on the right way. Okay, here we go. Whoopsies. See, I'll be able to edit this out of the the real end video. Okay. Oh, the other thing that's not included is paper towel. Always have a nice, clean paper towel. Um, I'm a stickler and um, a paper towel connoisseur. These are the very high quality, fancy ones from like fancy restaurants that we all used to go to before the shutdown. But now I get them off Amazon um, and I just, I love them. They absorb the way I need to. They're big enough. I can cut them down if I need to, but have them on your desk. It's usually on my right side, but for today, I'm going to have it on my left side because I'm going to be using both hands to do this process. Both hands. Um, so I started using uh, the Mix AB with um, the Ocean, and I'm going to pop these off because I just wanted you guys to see it from start to finish because I have to sand all this. So we're going to get a little preview of, um, what's, can I zoom in with the gloves on? Oh, lucky, lucky. Let's see, what is the delay on the camera? I am not certain, but um, yes, Todd, limited supply. So if I can pull on this, I wonder how zoomed in I can get. And if you can see, it is ripping that rubber. It is ripping that off. It is like bonding in that, surface so it and i'm pressing pretty pretty darn hard to get these off of here so you can and it's even sometimes going to pull that foil it's going to rip the foil how close is my zoom in i don't want to get too zoomy because i'm still trying to 
keep this for recording. Okay. To Zoomy, you know, that's a word. So if I just turn, you can see it turn white. It is ripping that rubber. Look at that. Ripping it clean off. So there's lots of um, glues. I mean, there's plenty of shoe glues. And uh, they will, you know, just easily peel out. And there's just tons of glue that you have to do with that process. And it's just not quality stuff. So we're showing you guys... Oh, this one didn't come off. Oh, come on now. Come on, look at that. Mm. Yeah, I can't even get this off. So, there we go. So I'm just going to kind of start over for you guys. I like to show this type of, um, you know, stuff. Because if you need to remove something, this is what I suggest you do. You can totally use your fingernail. Um, it would probably rip and tear your fingernail. And uh, thank you guys for answering questions. Thank you, Todd, Megan. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Um, that way we're not having to do... See, I'm not the best at using nippers. I could never be a nail professional. Oof, oh, my goodness. Um, and sometimes the stones are so big, it won't even open. But see how it's like ripping that... Look at that. How fantastic is that? You guys see that? Who's in love? Who is in love? Look at that. All right. So, yes, there's uh, everyone's answering questions. This kit is the Samurai Secret Kit. And so to get this off, you can use your, in your prep kit, we've got you a little file. Because this is how you're going to start. Once you get um, these shoes, these Crocs, these are all formed in like a, a mold, of course. They're injection, foam rubber, um, and there may be some mold release in the process. So you might not, who, whoever cares, you just kind of get them and you put them on. But these are, these have oil residue on them. And I'm going to use my little file to get off this, um, this residue from the stones. It actually, you know, kept foil on the back of the stones here. And, and this is a great little file to start out. But once you start doing like a full pair, after a full pair, maybe doing two or three pairs of this, um, you're going to want to upgrade your filing process to not injure your wrist and or your shoulder. And something that I've had for many, many years is very helpful. Oh, here it is. And so, oh, zoom out. Oh, my goodness. Zoom out. All right. I have a Dremel stylus. There's lots of Dremels out there. You just need something rotary with a, um, and I could even put a way heavier grit um, tip on this. But for right now, I'm just going to want to knock off these uh, little scraps. You always want to have safety glasses on with this stuff. And just knocking off this scrap that's on here is just going to help those next stones lay down a little bit nicer. You want a nice, smooth surface for your stones to adhere. You don't want to have to be fighting any bumps and lumps. But once we do this, now we're going to pretend these are fresh out of the box. Oh wait, they don't, these don't come in boxes. Um, so we're going to just pretend they were hanging on the little rack and with your alcohol wipe, and this is what I do first before I even say in the whole thing. I'm going to try to use the alcohol to get off the mold release that's on the shoe. Probably on the shoe. Um, actually, how many pairs will one kit do? That all depends on the size kit. That all depends on the size crystals that you use. But probably, I would say two or three pairs is enough of the glue and the uh, primer. So, But don't quote me on that because it depends. This is a man's size, I don't know, 11? No, it's a 9. Um, and then these are children's 13. So it just all depends on what you're doing with everything. So I'm giving this a nice just alcohol bath to get residue off. Then I'm going to use my my fancy napkin here and dry off the alcohol. Now I'm going to sand my surface. Um, you could have sanded it before, but if you sand an oily surface, you're just pushing in the oil into the surface. So clean your surface first. And that now we're going to, I'm just going to work on the toe. We're not going to do this whole shoe on camera. Um, so I'm going to just work on this little toe part. It's easy for me to get to. You guys can start wherever. Um, I do suggest when you do 
designs like or projects like this to plan out your your steps um, trim your outlines please trim your outlines it'll make the whole piece look so much nicer um, even though if you have bigger and smaller stones still random trim that outline it'll make it look so much nicer um, and a quality product and so we're going to trim out that outline just around this toe and then work in trim out your circles that way you don't have weird wonky gaps because you're going to have gaps you guys are going to have to learn to love the gaps because they are needed in this process the gaps are actually going to be doing a task and a chore you know uh, oh that's right todd this is probably about 15 years old this is my baby i don't let anybody else use it i have a um another version at the warehouse um, a no name. It's not as nice, but yeah, this thing floats. I have to say it floats. If you guys can find a Dremel stylus, um, I'm pretty sure it was a couple hundred bucks and it's worth every penny. I freaking love it and have loved it for so many years. But anyway, that's not what this class is all about. So, oh wait, I need it. So we've, we've wiped it. We've dried it. Now we're going to um, file it again. We're going to sand that surface again. You guys already saw me do this part. I'm going to do it again. And it's very difficult to see this rubber change, this foam rubber change. Like you can't really see a lot of the sanding that's going on. But you want to, um, you can even take a picture of it with your guys' phone and then zoom in to see those little tiny abrasions that are happening. And I just have mine on like a low, um, you don't want to press too hard with your Dremels in or burn your motors up. Just let the, the rotary do its job. Let's go around this edge here. Just like that. So I'm going to stay around this toe. This little toe pick. Toe part. And if you have a painted, um, a painted crock, like these have a, a you know, frosty pink painting, um, it will change the paint. So be aware that if it's something like this metallic, it slightly does change it because you're sanding into that, pardon me, that metallic uh, paint. All right, we have sanded. Let's see if I can get um, zoomed in. I don't think that this camera will even show the texture. It's so slight, but it is there. I wish we had a little, I mean, I have a macro lens, but we're not going to get into all that right meow. So let's zoom back out a little bit there. It's kind of difficult with gloves on. Um, awesome sauce. Uh, Jewel Brown, just your, your trim. Just when you have an edge and outline that you want to keep nice, just follow your trim line. Make a nice line. The border, yes. Just like that, Melissa, the border. That's right. And let's see. Let's get, whoa. Oh, no. What am I doing? There. I wanted to zoom all the way out. Okay, good. And so now that we've sanded, we're going to clean it again. Clean, clean, clean. And I like my bigger wipes. You're going to get the small ones, but, you know, upgrade to larger ones. And you're going to hear it squeak. Squeaky clean, whereas earlier it was not squeaking. So that's kind of a good thing. You want to hear it squeaky clean. You know. Okay, that's all. Um, and then we're going to wipe it clean, or I'm sorry, dry, just, just so that it dries off. There's no other residue. So now I'm going to keep my napkin here because, yes, Antoinette, you totally can just sand it with sandpaper. We're going to give you a prep kit inside, but sandpaper, kind of gets it's uh, difficult for my hands to work with um, just regular sandpaper. So we try to give you some extra tips on other other ways okay so now we're gonna get to gluing oh, i've already got some stones in there we're gonna give you this little uh, tray that we usually use to scrape up the stones it's perfect for this task um you're gonna find that you're gonna use this tray only for this glue um it's not gonna be is it glitching i don't have any glitches on my screen here um maybe try to uh, melissa try to exit out and come back in maybe Hopefully, it's not going to be glitchy. Um, and someone else about asked about the work mat. We do have these on the site, and um, you'll see them in all of our videos. It helps you soften your touch when you're picking up and placing the stones. Makes your tip last longer on your katana. All that good stuff. 
Um, so you're going to want to keep this tray uh, for glue only, for this glue only. And let's see, where do I want to put this? I think I want to use my left hand for that. No, I'm going to keep it right-handed. So I'm going to keep my um, lid of this one. This is your, uh, your primer, and it's hugely helpful. Um, I've tried, like I said, hundreds of glues, hundreds of processes, and to find the right primer with the right glue is the magic. Um, and so, and you pre have to put the primer on, it's only good for about a minute or two. So every three or four stones, more primer. Every three or four stones, more primer. Okay, who's ready? Who's ready? How many we got still? 279. Thank you guys. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this. Um, because it really has helped um, us do even more work. If you guys think we do a lot of work, guess what? <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, Donna, there is a faint smell. I do have a fan at my desk at all times. And uh, that's always suggested. All right, so here goes the primer. Let's use both hands here. Or actually, let me get my glue ready. Get your get all your stuff ready. Let's go. That's right, Renee. Let's go. So, typical super glue bottle, untwisted. I'm gonna put two or three drops in my tray. That's all you need for right now. That's all you need for right now. Then that's plenty. It's probably enough for the whole shoe, but I'm not sure anybody here, including me, can work that fast. Now I'm gonna put my glue over here with my left hand. Speed is key. If you put this glue on your item and then you're searching for your stone and you have to put, if you're using your right hand, you're going to put your glue on, then you're going to put this down, you're going to pick this up. You've wasted time for this glue. you got to move fast. So it's not really a beginner product process at all. Practice, practice. This glue is for rubber, plastics, and silicone. Glue and primer. Please don't get this kit and not use everything the way I'm showing you. There is a reason. For all of this. Why am I so far away? Okay, hang on, you guys. Maybe because I need to do that. Okay, we're back. We're back. Correct, Rosemary. This is not fabric glue. Please don't use this on canvas. It's a waste of uh, a super expensive kit. All right, so I've got my bottle and I'm going to put my primer just on this little front, little half inch area here, and it will disappear like that. Then with the little stick that we got that we give you guys, it's gonna have just a very fine point. You can totally use a, a syringe, a very tiny syringe tip, um, but a tiny dot. So what am I what am I missing, you guys? I'm missing the stones. We need some stones. You guys got me too excited. I'm missing the stones. See, Don, you're not late. I'm still I'm still putting out the. Uh, That stuff. Let's see here. Oh, hang on one second. Let's see. Let's see here. Okay, so this ocean mix has lots of beautiful blues all in it. So should I put a lot? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, half. Half of those, and then I'm going to put kind of half of this AB mix. These are going to be kind of some little party shoes. Some little party shoes. Is that sharp enough? I just don't think my camera's very participating with me. Very good today. And I'm going to keep them kind of separate. My little piles kind of separate. Uh, let's see. Uh, Deanna, this glue might just be great for the Apple Watch bands. But like I said earlier, there's tons of silicones and tons of um, rubbers. So you have to test it out. All right, so I've got glue here. I've got my primer. I'm going to put primer on again because I forgot I have no stones. All right, and then super tiny dot. Am I even in the right? Can you guys see? Is everything nice and clear? think it is with my left hand I'm gonna put a super tiny dot on and you need to see the gloss if you can't see the gloss of the glue then you need to add more glue and I like to hold it one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five 
five seconds, hold it. It's on there. And you can make your dots super tiny. Like I can barely even see that for the small, oh, I didn't even put enough, for the small stones. And then I want a space. I really want a space before it bonded. There we go. Nice little space. Nice little space. Let's see here. Bigger, bigger dots for bigger stones. Use both of your hands. That one was a little bit close. And now it's on there. Hold that down. And now I'm going back over where we chopped off those other stones. So you may need a little bit bigger little dot, but not too bad. It's not too bad. Two hands is what I have found works great. Now I need a little bit bigger dot of glue, but not too big. Or it will not, it will not bond, it will not cure. If there's too much glue, it will just keep sliding. If there's not enough glue, it won't even stay. What do you guys think so far? I know it's not all that magical, but this is kind of magic to us. And I've been sitting on it for um, over a year now. Over a year, we've been testing and testing and more testing and sitting on this. And um, now it is ready. For you guys. Oh, a blue flame. Oh, gotta love that one. Hold that down. Awesome. Thank you, Megan. Yes, thank you for putting that link. That is the link to the kit. Right? Left hand, right hand, and sometimes you can put one or two dots, but I wouldn't get ahead of myself because it's just that fast. And now I'm going to put more of the primer and keep going. And I can't wait to uh, see those watch bands. I want you to test that out. I don't, uh, I don't have an Apple watch or an Apple watch band, but the Boss Ninja Susie does. Now, I only have two or three dots of, of drops of glue in my little uh, dish because I want to keep, to keep adding to that. Every couple of, um, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I want you to turn the corner of the glue and add uh, more fresh, fresh glue. Don't get in a rut of just using the same little pile of glue. Okay. Very good. So let me do some, let me do some questions here. So, uh, China, can you say again what the glue adheres to? Only rubber, plastic, and um, it's. I would never use those words. Only uh, it's suggested for uh, rubber, plastics, and silicone. But there's so many kinds of those, so it's never an only in an exact science. Um, let's see. Yes, I'm putting on. Let's zoom back out. I have the oh, sorry, I have the primer next to me, and then I've already have the dots of glue in this tray, so that way it's not a ton of moving around and stuff, moving around. So I'll put on some more of the primer, which dissipates nearly immediately, and then we're going to work over on this little section here. I've got my glue, tiny dots, you guys, and I'm going to put a big stone. A big stone only needs a dot that's maybe the size of a SS10, and it's going to spread out. I'm going to hold it on there, three to five seconds. It's on there. Okay. Now I'm going to use a smaller one. Someone asked about how do I know when to switch. It's just what fits. You kind of pick that little gap, and there it is. And then you just keep going. You get in the zone. And I know lots of people say, oh, I would never be able to use both my hands. Until you practice, you just don't know what you're capable of. And keep a napkin. I like to wipe the little end of my stick off. Every couple of minutes or so, just keep that nice and clean. You know how we are sticklers for keeping your tools nice and clean. Oh, and I still have a 
piece of something on there. And I've used the same stick for a couple days now. Yes, Michelle, the kit is on the site. First thing that you will see on that site is the Samurai Secret. There we go. Yes, Megan. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're answering. Yes, thank you, guys. Super duper. Who's ready to practice? Who is ready to play and practice with this? Oh, there's some Caribbean blue opal in here. That is fabulous. I haven't even used my Mix AB, but I had it ready. And now I'm going to actually put more primer on around this edge. And I want a bigger stone. Oh, did it stick? Didn't really, didn't really happen. Nothing happened. There we go. Uh, Mel, does the glue set without the primer? It does, but it will peel off. It is not the end result that I was searching for. Same here, Elizabeth. I'm not really a fan, but now, maybe, for special costume parties and occasions, maybe, you just never know. And that's right, no stones come with the kit. I'm using the Ocean, the Ocean mix that we have. It's a Swarovski and a Kira Kira mix. And we have lots of those still. Diana, you can use coupons for everything else on the site, except uh, this kit is not available with a coupon. We don't like to launch our magic amazingness and then have a discount. So no coupons on this kit. And the coupons you can use, we have lots of them. Um, the main one on the site right now is just Fall 2020. And then we have our other partners over at uh, Beginner Blingers, their BB Crew coupon, Tumblr Hacks 101, Tumblr Universe, uh, Steel Magnolia. We have so many coupons. If you already, already have a coupon, it is active. It's still going to be what you guys can use. And there we go. So that other one is a little bit too close right there. Um, I'm liking, like... I wish I knew the measurement, but I'd say like a half a millimeter spacing between these guys. Oh, and then Louis just uh, just asked, yes. And then wipe off this little tip here. You want to keep that nice and clean. And so we'll bring back the pink one. Um, <clears throat> and of course you can, let me close this guy up. You can pull and yank on these, but it does still want 24 hours to cure. So I'm not going to be pulling on this. Um, Sorry, Mel Michelle, probably not. Um, I'm not certain if we can ship this overseas yet. So um, I can't guarantee it might just unfortunately be a domestic states only type of deal. Um, but let's see. Let's bring back this guy. <clears throat> and because these have sat over a week, but I'm confident about the 24 hour cure time. And what else you guys can check out is. If you use too much glue, you'll get that fogging, that etching that lets you know there's too much glue. If you see a ton of glue oozing out, it is not, uh, it's, it's too much glue. So it does take practice to get just the right amount. Um, Vanessa, it is not going to be available on its own. It will always be in our kit. Always be in our kit. <clears throat> and um, so to get that, I mean, it literally bends the knife. If you guys saw in the beginning how I pulled off some ones there. <clears throat> oh, Janessa, I found these on Amazon. These little frosty pink ones. It is legit pulling this knife blade. These are not coming off. And the reason why I like the spacing, and you should have spacing, is as someone walks, and if, I'm going to let you guys listen. You hear a little... Maybe a little, you don't hear any going this way, but when this bends, if you hear any cracking, it's the stones hitting the stones. And that's what mainly what make things pop off. They will break and crack and pop off. So spacing is everything. If you can figure out your spacing for the way things need to bend, um, that spacing is pretty consistent. About half a millimeter, I think, is a good rounded number. But spacing is very important, um, and that's on a ton of shoes, a ton of shoes. If the shoes bend, you need to space the stones out. So that's a whole other class. And uh, yeah, there you go, guys. So I don't know how long. So that's 40 minutes, and I think you guys have gotten the gist of everything. And so let's 
go through any questions. Uh, Diana, it's okay. You can watch the replay. We definitely sanded this. Sanding is a huge part of all pre uh, prepping. Uh, Shanique, we have a coupon on the site, uh, Fall 2020, but it is not available on this kit. Not on the brand new stuff. Not on the brand new stuff. Awesome. That's right. Yep, the stones will hit, Megan. That's so true. Spacing is very important, especially on bendy, bendy, flexy things. You know, especially for kids. I mean, they're going to be bending. So as you want to, you know, definitely check the top of the foot and make sure you have good spacing. That way the stones don't hit and it will lessen the, the cracking of them. Um, it's not likely that these will come off as they break, um, but it is likely that they can still break and leave, you know, holes in your foam rubber. So that's pretty fabulous, right? Right there. That's how we, that's how we do it right there. You guys, I know. So I think that's about it. I don't want to go any further to, um, make my editing a lot longer, but that's what you get in your kit. You're going to get no stones. I don't even use those um, AB, but I guess I will, I'm going to come back live and just continue working on this shoe. Um, that way this will be the formal class. Here's how to, um, and then I can just keep working. Um, so, oh, someone asked, that's a great question, Kira. How long does the glue last in the tray? It actually will stay wet over a day. And you can wipe that out with um, a little napkin, a little tissue. Um, this glue is what you can say an anaerobic. It needs negative oxygen. So once I'm, when I'm pressing these in and it's kind of smashing them on, it's pushing all the air out. It's bonding. So you need to have negative um, oxygen and uh, that way it's going to bond a lot better. But to have it sit like this, it is, you know, releasing vapors. It's kind of drying out, but... Um, it's not likely that it will go anywhere or do anything just sitting in the tray. So keep you some little napkins and clean that out. Um, you can use other little things if you happen to lose this tray. I mean, it's just a tray. Um, I've used our little empty containers here. You can try to use a paper tray of some kind, but it will start soaking into the paper. That's why I don't use little post-it notes for this type of glue. Um, what else? What else? Oh, you know what? Let's do, let's do real quick. Let's do some of this guy. So I've already prepped and sanded and cleaned this little pineapple and yes it's for mr hamilton put some primer on there and let's go ahead and still with this glue a little tiny bit i think there's some yellow over here in this mix a b yeah little citrine little tiny glue little tiny dot and then it's kind of hard to hold but then let's put some yellow on him aren't these so cute there you go so i'll keep working on him to put in mr hamilton's package that will go out monday isn't that cute so you could just do some small things you don't have to do a whole shoe and get expensive just do some little you know five dollar kind of pieces holidays are coming you got lots of projects to do and this kind of this is foam rubber. This is not rubber. This is not silicone. These are foam rubber. But if you wanted to get over on some silicone, be my guest. Be my guest, you guys. Same stuff. <laughs> Different class. Same stuff. Okay. I'm tuning out. I'm turning off. We're at 45 minutes now. Um, any other questions? Very good, Keanu. Got your kit. Very good. Yeah, it's pretty limited. Uh, we only had 100 to start with. And... Um, yeah, it's pretty limited, so get your guys' kit, and that's what's in it. You have your primer and your glue, your tray, and your little applicator stick, and then a little uh, starter prep kit, but then I showed you guys how to kind of upgrade and get yourself a Dremel, and then larger alcohol wipes. They come in the little jars or the little, um, you know, like normal wipes, and all of that is also on the site, and... What else have I forgotten? Anything else? Uh, Nina, I got these on Amazon. I even have a link in the uh, kit listing. I have some Amazon links there. So you can check all that out. You guys are so welcome. And thank all of you for joining me this morning. I know you guys have lots of things to do on Saturdays. Um, but yes, this kit is called the Samurai Secret. Um, 
and it is the first thing you'll see on our site. And we're pretty happy. We're pretty happy with it now, and it is available to you guys. So enjoy. Yes, Mel, I really hope this can go to the UK. Um, I can get with the manufacturer and see about doing something like that, but it might be a little difficult. Might be a little difficult. So for this, I'm going to take my napkin. I'm going to cut some napkin off and then wipe my tray out. If you wanted to start fresh, if you wanted to end your day, just wipe your glue out into the garbage with this napkin. And there we go. Oh, there's still a little bit left in there. A little bit left. All right, guys. Awesome. I'm so happy that you enjoyed it. And uh, until we meet again, maybe I'll be live in a little bit longer, a little bit later, later today. I'm going to go grab some lunch and, oh, <gasps> Patty, thank you so much. We have a giveaway to do, you guys. Holy moly. And I need my, uh, oh, I'll do it on that computer. Okay, let me get set up for the giveaway and da, 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 da. hang on one second. Let me turn this off. Come over this way. I'm taking these gloves off. I'll use them in a minute. I'll put them back on in a minute. Mm -mm. All right, it's contest time, and I'm so sorry for everyone that left already. Um, yes, we're trying to do giveaways every time I go live on this channel and possibly YouTube. The giveaway today is actually from last night. We had four uh, drawings, and no one claimed it. So this is a brand new sample box from Swarovski that we're going to send to you guys. And so uh, let me get the app going, and that way... Oh, sorry for my mess right there. Where'd my little stand go? Okay, sorry. Let's do... Whoopsies! Alright, hang on a second. That's not attractive right there, but I didn't want to keep hitting the wrong button. So, hang on one second. You guys get to see my backstage desk. Okay, hang on. Let's have a contest. And the contest is going to be pulled from your comments. So I need to find this link of this live. And if you guys have your own pages, here's a really good way to do giveaways. I learned this from our friend over at the Rhinestone World, Matt Vasallo. And what you have to do is you have to find, let me turn my volume down. You have to find um, the actual live. And then you have to find the link up here for that live. You have to hit copy. Then in another window... You're going to open up Comment Picker, Comment Sold, that's not it, Comment Picker for Facebook. And then you, you have to log in, click some other buttons, I, it automatically logs me in, I think. And then you need to paste that link in here, and it's going to get the comments. So it, everybody put their comment in that's still here. Here we go, Get Comments, and it's going to pull. So it looks like we had... 124 different people put in comments and then you scroll down and this is where we hit the start button. Who's ready? Who's ready? Everybody ready to go? Here we go. One, two, three. Here it goes. And this pulls from all the comments. Okay. Devon Wilson Hamilton, are you still here? And we have to give um, 60 seconds for someone to, to claim their prize. And then we're going to draw again. <clears throat> this is the part that might take a few minutes. So anyone know if Devon Wilson is still here in the, in the, um, in the live? Awesome. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah. Let's do a little, let's see. Oh, the box again. It's across the room. Oh, no, it's not. It's in my, it's in my hand. Let's see. Let me see. One second here. I don't want to hit the buttons and then end the live. Okay. Sorry. Now my finger's in the way. Oh, right, Stephanie. It The winner is, is, uh, is Devon Wilson. All right. So here's what's in the little sample box. It shows you all the different colors and, and codes and um, everything like that. New shapes, new coatings, all that stuff. All right, I think it's been more than a minute. 
So we're going to pick another person. No Devon Wilson? Anyone? Anyone? Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and pick another. Oh, we hit the start button. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. How about Shannon Daniels? Is there a Shannon Daniels still in the live? Anyone? Anyone? I'm only going to pick four, and if there's no claims for four, then we got to go on, and I will do it again later. Let's see if there's a Shannon still in the room. In the room. Maybe. Maybe. Any other questions I can answer for you guys while we wait? I hope she's here. Shannon or him? Shannon? Shannon? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? All right, has it been a minute? Oh, it's to it totally has been a minute. Uh, Wendy, the the Crocs, uh, those I got off Amazon. Those are from Amazon. I think they're just, they're pink. They're kind of more just less metallic pink. Oh, where's my stapler? That's years old. I have no idea. I have no idea where that stapler's from. <laughs> uh, Maria, check out the replay. I showed how to remove those kind of in the very beginning. All right, round three. One, two, three. Pick another winner and start. Ready, set, go. All right, anyone see Antoinette Milford Williams? Is she still in the room? Anyone? Anyone? Let's see. Uh oh. Oh, Shannon Daniels is here. Okay, that's okay. Let's um, also see if Antoinette speaks up. I do have two of these. Um, but Shannon, you don't worry. You've got one. Don't worry. I did just now see that. Thank you, guys. But let's see if... Uh, let's give Antoinette another minute. See if she's still here. And um, and that's fine. We always got a backup. I'm super happy. Congratulations, Shannon. Awesome. Oh, and there's Miss Antoinette. Okay, we've got two. Fantastic. You guys are both winners. Congratulations. We have two winners for today's class. Very good then. All right. I am going to sign off. Um, you guys need uh, Shannon and Antoinette. Please send an email to info at Crystal Ninja and let um, Susie know that you were chosen. Both of you were chosen. Don't send a DM. It's going to get lost. We have, I think, 128 DMs uh, today. So um, congratulations to both of you guys, and uh, we'll get those out to you um, probably Monday. Oh, and on this kit, you guys, I hope you guys all saw that um, these are not these kits are not shipping uh, till the end of October, okay? Not till the end of October. So if you're buying kits today, it's not shipping until the end of October. These things take time. And then I have the links for the Dremel, the clippers, the alcohol, the little fan I use everywhere I go, and then the Crocs. So, and of course, the stones are all on the site. So, I hope I've answered all your questions, and I'm excited for you guys to get this in a few weeks. But you'll see me using um, the kit, and I will even start um, showing you guys on different materials, too. And yeah, mixes, all the mixes are on with the coupons for sure, just not our Swarovski factory packs. Yeah, okay, let me not lose this, and let me go get the other, the other one. Oops, whoa, I'm gonna fall. And um, super, thank you guys so much. Oh yeah, for sure, I can show. Those are the ones that are done. That's the full pair that is complete and ready to get gift wrapped for Mr. Hamilton. So there's his beautiful little cup there and then of course the one we finished last night for miss blake lively my cabinet's getting quite full up here and um there you go there you go guys perfection per oh oh i don't know why that had to come on okay super 
All right. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. You'll have a wonderful Saturday and I will see you soon.